I was first introduced to MatchFit Consults around four years ago and met Lillian, had a great meeting and it coincided with a time in my life where I was changing companies. And Lillian really helped me focus and gave me direction when, at a time when I needed it most. I was struggling both mentally, emotionally, um, and in parts physically because uh, having spent 11 years at this particular company, I was thought I was gonna be there for life. And when they turned around and said yeah, I was surplus to requirements, that really knocked me for six. So I was re in real need of, of help and uh, MatchFit Consults uh, did a great job in getting me ready for the next part of my of my career and my journey. The the next time um, was around two and a half years later when the company that I subsequently joined and was leading had restructuring and so I was asked to leave um, with a bunch of other employees uh, through organisational restructure, uh, cost saving, etc. And again, that knocked me f um, for six because uh, my team had delivered outstanding growth over the period that I was there. I'd hired a brand new team. The performance was excellent. However, circumstance meant that they um, were, you know, needed to, to make cuts. And as a result, I was offered outplacement services. Uh, I was offered a number of uh, options. Uh, however, having had worked with Matchfit Consults in the past, I was adamant that I wanted Lillian and her team to help me again. And so um, my company agreed to that. And again, we went through a fabulous process of getting me you know, in shape, both emotionally and and uh, and professionally for the next step in my career. And MatchFit was again outstanding in taking me through the process, um, which asks many questions of oneself and an important learning curve. Um, I do believe for everybody, uh, particularly as you know, being almost 50, going into the maybe final stage of your career or getting towards that is really understanding what it is you want in life and where you want it to go in the future. Mm -hmm.